Na ta da to do. Welcome one more time. Psalm 108. With God. With God. We'll gain the victory. With God. Start the enemy. With God. We'll gain the victory. With God, we'll gain the victory. With God. We'll gain the victory. Welcome, beloved of God. We appear again to glorify the name of the Lord and to proclaim the word of the Lord in a topic represent the victory it's such a joy to be able to proclaim the word of the lord and initially to be in the place of calling on his name it's such a joy and great delight to be able to appear in another episode to continue to proclaim the word of the lord psalm 108 psalm 108 before we commence it will be good for us to pray Always pray before you do your studies. Let the Lord give you an understanding. Let the Lord give you insight. Let the Holy Spirit help you. Let us pray. Precious Father, we ask you now in this broadcast, the Lord, you may help us. The Lord, you may have mercy on us. Lord, we trust that you will guide us. Lord Jesus, as we start this day, we pray for your Holy Spirit to open our eyes to see wonderful things, O oh God. We close our eyes to see, O oh God. We know that you are faithful and just, and you will help us adjust. Psalm 119 and verse 18 says, Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things out of your law. Thank you, Lord, as we begin this broadcast, the Lord, you will open and illuminate the light in this word, and that, Father, you will cause us to experience the supernatural. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved of God, we come Psalm 108, a song, a psalm of David. My heart is steadfast, O God. I will sing and make music with all my soul. Awake, liar, harp and liar. I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, O Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. For great is your love, higher than the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches the sky. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Psalm 108 verse 4 gives us a wonderful song. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory fill the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. And let your glory fill the earth. Hallelujah. Psalm 108 and verse number 5. You know, it's such a joy and great delight to be able to, you know, proclaim the word of the Lord and to see his majesty. To see his majesty, to see his power, to see his dominion, to see his grace manifested upon our lives in a way that only he can. He's the God who answers prayer. There's no other God besides him. He's the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These are beautiful scriptures that we come to experience even as we read his word. Psalm 108 and verse number 5. Don't you forget that one. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over the earth. Now, now this is in the NIV. The song, Psalm 108, verse 5, is a song. It says that's, that's verse, you can sing it today, all over the things that you're doing. Because you stand to represent the victory. You stand to represent the victory. I come to stand to represent the victory. It says, ah, be exalted, O God, above the heavens. 
Let your glory fill the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory fill the earth. Hallelujah. Maybe you've never heard that song. Let me try and get it for you. And then we shall continue on by the grace of God. Be exalted, O God. Be exalted, O God. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory fill the earth. Let your glory fill the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory fill the earth. Mm. Hallelujah. Let's worship Him. Mm -hmm. I will give thanks to Thee, O O Lord, among the peoples, I will sing praises to Thee among the nations. For Thy steadfast love is great, is great to the heavens, and Thy faithless Thy faithfulness to the clouds. Hallelujah. Listen. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Radabasha kataraba. Ay, 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 ay. Be over all the earth. Okay, I just have to stop it there because I don't want to get into trouble with the copyright but that verse that's not the version i was looking for let me get let me try to get the version be exalted O god above the heavens be exalted O god above the heavens be exalted O god above the heavens yes it should be this one no 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 it's not that one be exalted, O oh God. Hi, Dr. Siko. Karibu sana. Say, be exalted. Be exalted, O oh God, above the heavens. Be exalted, O oh God. O oh God, above the heavens. Above the Let your glory fill the earth. Let me try and get this. This um, Could it be John? No, 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 it's not that one. These are beautiful psalm hymns that you can be able to get them when you search them. But there's this particular one that I need to get, you know. Be exalted, be exalted, oh God above. Be exalted, oh God above the heavens. Let your glory fill the earth. Be exalted, O oh God, above the heavens. Let your glory fill the earth. Okay. I have to continue. <laughs> I did not get it. Beloved of God. Psalm 108 and verse 6. Let's continue on. It says, Save us and help us with your right hand that those you love may be delivered god has spoken from his sanctuary in triumph i will parcel out shechem and measure off the valley of second gilead is mine manasseh is mine ephraim is my helmet judah my scepter moab is my wash basin upon edom i toss my sandal over philistia i shout in triumph who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Is it not you, O oh God, who has, yo, you have rejected us and have no longer go out with our armies? Give us aid against the enemy. For the help of man is worthless. With God, we will gain the victory. And the triumph will trample down our enemies. Psalm 118, Psalm 108 and verse 13. Beloved, we stand in a place 
to represent victory. The God that we serve has never lost a battle. He's a man of war. He will never lose a battle. He has wind in his storehouses. He has legions and legions of angels. He is a mighty God that in your matter, he will step in no matter what your matter is. He is more than able to bring answers to prayer. He is more than able to give you victory, to help us trample down our enemies. Precious people of God, I come to mention that the greatest enemy we have in the walk of faith is our very own unbelief. The moment we allow unbelief to come upon our lives, then we will be standing in the place of complete, um, we will be standing in the place of almost not getting victorious. Because victory has already been given to us through the shed blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. When he hung on the cross, he redeemed you and me from the curse of the law and we come to stand in the place of victory, to represent victory. We must do this. We must stand to represent victory. The battle has already been won. You don't have to fight in this battle. All you got to do is stand. And when you stand in this battle, the Lord will, will fight. He says, with God, we will gain the victory and will trample down our enemies. With God, we'll gain the victory. With God, we'll trample down our enemies. With God, we will gain the victory. With God, we'll trample down our enemies. This is the reality of what we must come to. That we must know that with God, we will gain the victory. That it's through his name and his name alone that we stand to represent. We come to represent the victory. We stand to represent the victory. We don't fight to win. We fight to represent. We represent victory because he has already won our battles. He won our battles. He gave us victory that we may represent the victory in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We bless the name of the Lord for his goodness. We bless the name of the Lord for his mercy. We bless the name of the Lord for his goodness and grace and capacity. For he is a God who answers prayer. And he is a God who will come through no matter what our situation may become. He is God of Israel. He given us. He says, who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? The Lord desires that... We will stand and say, Lord, I am here. I am here to represent the victory. Let the goodness and the mercies of God overwhelm you this day. Let the goodness and mercies of God come upon your matter, no matter what your matter is. I come to proclaim that this God is a good God and we stand to represent victory. As we proclaim this word, we want to see what happens when the top layer of our brain is thinking about the word, when the top layer of our mind is thinking about the word, when our spirit man is thinking about the word, then when we sleep, when we wake up, we are thinking about the word. Then thereby, beloved, when you speak out of the abundance of your heart, Hey, hey, the words coming out of the abundance of your heart will be the words that you have stored up inside there. Stand to represent the victory. Do not let nobody intimidate you. Do not let any situation or circumstance intimidate you. Because God has already given us victory. We stand to represent the victory of the king. <laughs> we stand to represent the victory. That when we saturate our spirit man with the word of God. When we saturate our thoughts with the word of God. When we think about the word of God. When we look at the marvelous deeds of the Lord. Then we can say we stand 
to represent the victory in every circumstance and situation. Financially, we stand to represent the victory of God in the mighty name of Jesus. In the regards to our well-being, our health, your mental health, yes, stand to represent the well-being of God, the well-being that God has brought in your life. He says, according to his word, that he longs to be gracious to you. This is a reality. It's not that God is in a place waiting to just punish people. But there are principles that must be followed. And one of those principles is that you must be born again. Yes, you may be an unbeliever and living the best of your life according to you. You may look at it that you are living the best life of your life. Because everything you want to do, you can do. But you may not realize that there is some space inside your spirit man that can never be filled by anything apart from the Lord God himself. There is a shape in man. There is a space inside man. That's why Solomon wrote down and said, All is vanity. He had everything and was documented as the richest of all kings that ever lived. He was full of wisdom and knowledge and he had studied many books. But one thing about Solomon, he came to a place and a conclusion. He said, fear God in your life. He said that all these things is vanity. Vanity of vanities and vanity of vanities. You know, whatever is on top of your mind is what you will end up speaking. Whatever is inside your heart is what you will end up thinking. So if at all you want to stand and represent the victory, then you must be in a place where you purpose to completely saturate your mind with the word of God. And there must be the balance of prayer and reading God's word. And that balance of prayer and reading God's word is the one that we come with the psalmist to Psalm 108 verse 12. It says, give us aid against the enemy. For the help of man is worthless. That the only aid we desire is the aid that comes from the Lord. Oh, would you lift up your hands to the Lord and tell him, Father, give us aid. Give us aid against the enemy, O Lord. For the help of man is worthless. Give us aid. Hallelujah. Father, we desire your aid. Hallelujah. We desire your aid against the enemy. For the help of man is worthless. Lord God, send us help. Send us help today. Send us help. Send us aid. In the name of Jesus Christ. On this mission Monday that we record this, we want to bless the name of the Lord that is giving us aid against the enemy. Psalm 108 verse 12. The word of the Lord says, give us aid against the enemy for the help, the help of man is worthless. It says, with God we'll gain the victory and we'll trample down our enemies. With God we'll gain the victory and he will trample down our enemies. He himself will trample down our enemies. Psalm 44 and verse number 5, the word of the Lord says, through you we push back our enemies through your name we trample our foes this is a reality of God's word Isaiah 22 and verse number 5 the word of the Lord says the Lord the Lord Almighty has a day of tumult and trembling and terror in the valley of vision a day of battering down walls and of crying out to the mountains that this God is giving us capacity to he himself will trample down our enemies. Hallelujah. What a joy, beloved, to come to the knowledge of this truth. Again in Isaiah 63 and verse 3, it says, I have trodden the winepress alone from the nations no one was with me. I trampled them in my anger and trod them in my wrath. Their blood splattered my garments and I stained all my clothing. And verse number six, it says, I trampled the nations in my anger. In my wrath, I made them drunk and poured out their blood on the ground. 
This scripture says, With God will gain the victory and will trample down our enemies. Any kind of situation that you are facing today, I come to mention the Lord will release aid against the enemy today in the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord says in Psalm 108, 108 verse 12, Give us aid against the enemy, for the help of man is worthless. With God, we will gain the victory. With God, he will trample down our enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. It's a great delight to stand and represent the victory. It's a great delight to stand and represent the victory. Without fear, keep pushing out anything that is in your spirit that does not glorify the Lord. I mentioned in another place that what is top of your mind is what you end up speaking. Hallelujah. Receive healings in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak healings right now. We are connecting with our sister Jeanette. She writes and says, please pray for me. I'm in pain. We decree healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Healing in the name of Jesus Christ. It is done. We stand to represent the victory and we start and agreeing for healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. That the power of healing flow right now. The God who rescued us from the grave. He's the one who is able to set you free from every danger of darkness and every pain and bring you out into a place of victory. So we come to represent victory today. We come to say that he, he conquered sin. He conquered the victory. We have the victory because he conquered every defeat and give us the victory. Jesus gave us the victory. We stand to gain the victory with our God. We gain the victory. We mention this with knowledge, knowing that it is God who answers prayer. It's God who answers prayer. God answers our, all the prayers that we are making in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Begin to bless, bless the Lord. Begin to bless the Lord and, and thank Him for answering your prayers right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we come to you at the breaking of the dawn. We bless you. Your word says I will awaken the dawn. Father, we awaken the dawn this morning from this part of Kenya. From this part of Kenya. Father God, we awaken the dawn in the name of Jesus. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be filled the earth, O oh Father. Father, we thank you. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Is to be praised. The name of the Lord is to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the place where it sets, the name of the Lord is to be praised. He is a great God who answers prayer. He is a great God who answers prayer. He answers prayer. He's a mighty God. Hallelujah. He's mighty to save. He's glorious. He's holy. Hallelujah. He's such a wonderful God that we pour praise upon him this morning. We publish praise upon him this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Represent the victory, beloved. Represent the victory. Represent it in every circumstance you're facing. It could be your health. It could be uh, something that you are trusting God to do concerning your family. He is more than able. He is more than able. He is more than able. He answers prayer. And that's why we come to bless his name. We bless his name for healings upon our sister Jeanette. That indeed it's a time like this that we testify of his goodness. It's a time like this that we testify of his love. Is a time like this that we testify of his kindnesses. Is a time like this that we say, Our Father, you reign in our hearts. You reign in our situation. You reign in our condition. And we know that you are faithful. Represent the victory. That is where you have been called to be. Represent it. Do not allow yourself to confess defeat. I mentioned that saturate yourself with the word of God. 
saturate yourself that every kind of thing that you will think, you will find yourself thinking the word of God, thinking what he thinks. Fill your heart with gladness. Fill your heart with what he did for you. Testify. Testify of the things that he has done. Tell of his wonderful deeds. Hallelujah. The psalmist says, As my heart is steadfast, O God, I will sing and make music with all my soul. Remember that in that situation that you may be going through, one thing that they desire to get from you is your faith. That's one thing that Satan knows. That, you know, silver and gold cannot buy. And that's why as many people as end up selling their souls, they sell their souls once their faith has been stolen. Once you feel like God is far away from you. Once you feel like he does not answer you. Why you feel like he's not there anymore. When you look at circumstances and say, Lord, how long, how long, how long? When you come to that place, just start guarding your faith. 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 Guard your faith. Hey, guard it. Because your faith is one of the most precious, precious commodities. There are things that are rare in the realm of the spirit. One is a body like this one. The powers of darkness will do anything to inhabit a body. They will try to come through sicknesses. That's why there are some sicknesses that just need to be cast out in the name of Jesus. Right now we cast out that cancer in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever ground it is holding over your life. Right now in the name of Jesus we speak the word of God and represent the victory. We cut it off. We disconnect you from that cancer. From that flow. From that sickness. From that disease. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be free. Stand and represent the victory. In the name of Jesus Christ. He will do it. He has done it. Stand and represent the victory. Stand and represent the victory. The psalmist continues to say, Awake, harp and liar. I will awaken the dawn. That there is power that man has been given by the Lord to speak to the dawn and say, Wake up! Hallelujah! Wake up, O dawn! Hallelujah! Wake up and do the glory of God. Speak the majesty of God. Declare the glory of God. You will not be in any way manipulated by powers of darkness over the, over the lives of your people. My Father, we pray in this very seventh season of 150 days of Psalms, we know seven is your number. We know, Lord, there's something you're doing. We know that God, you cannot bring us this far to fail. We cannot come this far to turn back. So Lord, we stand to represent the faith. We stand to represent the victory. We stand to represent that your faithfulness is upon us, O God. We trust you, O God. We glorify your name, O God. There is no weapon fashioned against us that shall prosper. Lord God so right now in the mighty name of Jesus any kind of limitation, any kind of pain, any kind of sorcery and witchcraft that may be programmed against your church and against your people. Father God we pray in the mighty name of Jesus arise oh God for we stand to represent the victory. We stand to represent the victory in the name of Jesus. We stand to represent the victory in Jesus mighty name Amen Hallelujah Thank you Jesus Hallelujah That was for me I choose Let me dwell in the presence of the Most High. These are testimonies that you must proclaim. Psalm 91 verse 1. It says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This is a place again. I want you to lift your voice and pray. And tell the Lord, Hallelujah, I dwell in your shelter. I dwell in your presence. I stand to represent in the name of Jesus the victory that you gave upon my life.
Let that victory come upon your situation. This God is a great God. And the psalmist says in Psalm 1083, it says, I will praise you, O Lord, among the nations. I will sing praise to you. I will sing of you among the nations. In my pain, I will praise. In my situation, I will praise. Things may not be looking the way they ought to be, but I will praise your name. I will glorify your name. I will testify of your goodness in the land of the living. Oh, precious Lord, we honor you. We magnify your name. We stand to represent the victory. For great is your love. Hallelujah. Great is your love. Higher than the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Your love, oh Lord, reaches to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains. Hallelujah. Father, we bless your name. You are a great God. You are a great God. We stand to represent the victory. We stand to represent the victory. Be exalted, O God, above the nation, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Let the presence of God, hallelujah, let it go ahead of us. Let him go ahead of you. That as you saturate your thoughts with the word of God, you saturate your mind, not with the world happenings and the things that are happening in the world today. You need to come to the place of knowledge. That we stand to represent the victory. Beloved, as we end this broadcast, today is a day full of grace, full of mercies of God. And we thank God that we should be able to be back again to film another episode. And we'll film it as the Lord enables us and gives us capacity and message. So we bless the Lord for season 7 and for the grace that the Lord has given unto us even on this wonderful and remarkable day. Remember, represent the victory. Do not let anything turn you back. Do not let your thoughts come to steal your faith. Make sure you saturate, saturate with the word of God. Be completely saturated. Read it out aloud. Proclaim the word. The great love of our God. We bless his name. As we end this broadcast, you could have just come across it for the first time. Romans chapter 10 verse 9. It says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Salvation is a free gift that you receive by faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Before I go, let me just read something from Galatians. Galatians chapter 3. Galatians, Galatians, Galatians 3 is uh, one of the passages I love so much. And I would really want to encourage you to find time and go through the book of Galatians chapter 3. But I'm, I'm going to read, I'm going to read, um, I'm going to read Galatians chapter 3 and help somebody who is listening to me be able to stand and represent victory because the Galatians are the people who had not been in the place of understanding that they started to go towards observance of the law and they started to turn away from faith. So Paul writes to the Galatians and the very first verse he says is, You foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? He says, before your very eyes, Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed as crucified. This scripture, beloved of God, is a powerful scripture when we stand to represent the victory. It is by faith you have been saved. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 says it is a gift of God. It that no one should boast. Verse 9. It is a gift. Salvation is a gift. It is not being baptized. It is not being in a church. It is not going to church on Sunday. Salvation is a free gift that you receive by faith. I want to testify of the goodness of God that in my uh, errands and as I do one, two things, 
I've met people and by the simple explanation of what salvation is, they just turn their hearts and give it to Jesus because they did not know that salvation is that simple. They thought salvation is about you must go to a particular place, you know, certain things must be done and so on and so on. Uh -uh. And the Lord just helps them and they're getting saved. So I pray for you today. May the Lord give you that grace and capacity. If you are there, you want to pray and give your life mm -hmm. to Jesus. The word of the Lord is also here with us. So pray this prayer or you can help somebody pray this prayer. Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth that you are Lord. I believe in my heart. God raised you from the dead. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. I am born again. The old is gone, the new has come. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and with your fire. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord Jesus cometh into your heart. Your sins are forgiven. You are a child of God. Please do write to us. Let us know if you are among them that have prayed online and given their lives to Christ. Also, I would like not to end the broadcast without an opportunity for you to give. As the Lord enables you, kindly follow the instructions on the screen um, in the description of the video and you can be able to partner with me as we continue in the journey of 150 days of Psalms. Shalom, I am Malcolm David. Shalom. <laughs>